as a leader, you know well that people-related problems always pop up. Even when you have become good at creating good relationships. Relationships are dynamic. Circumstances alter people's behavior and vice versa. Problems don't go away. They only get more serious. And they affect the individual, the team, and the business. Do you know that there is an effective method to handle people's problems? Hello. This is Pierre Bienvenu from IMPI. We are here to help remove anxiety from leadership as they gain greater clarity and control. Within Walking Distance is a series giving tips, tools and reflections for leadership. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the links relevant to this video that you will find in the description box below. MP. So let's answer the question. How can we handle people's problems effectively, respectfully, and emotionally? The method I introduce here is part of the job relation course, a standard 10-hour module of the training within industry. In the context of the course, a problem is defined as anything the leader has to take action on. That's broad. How problems come up? Well, there are four ways. The first way is sizing up before it happens. Take the case where there is a change to the work at home policy. You can anticipate that will disrupt the life of some of your team members. So you can be proactive and mitigate the impact on them. The second way is when you are being tipped off. That's when you notice changes in people's work or attitudes. Suppose a usually well-tempered co-worker becomes irritated and argumentative. You want to deal with the situation early and quickly before it grows into a more serious issue. Thirdly, the problem comes to you. A person walks in your office with an issue that requires your attention. Let's say an employee asking for a raise or a transfer. Lastly, you may run into problem. Suppose you instruct someone to do something and she won't do it. Or perhaps someone is chronically late to standard meetings. So many causes of people problem. So little time to handle them. Precisely. We need a method that we can use routinely to act rapidly before problems get out of, of hand. The more you practice the four-step method, the more skilled you become at eliminating people problems rapidly and more effectively than without a method. So here is the four-step method for people problem solving. First, you need to define the problem and the objectives you wish to attain when the problem is solved. This is critical. You must understand that you are trying to solve and hope to accomplish. For example, to get Susan to attend the meetings on time or Pierre to follow the standard process. Then you start step one, get the facts. You review the record and find out what policies, rules, regulations apply. Then talk with the individuals concerned. You want to get opinions and feelings because whether right or wrong, they are facts to them. Before you get to step two, be sure you have the whole story. Step two is weigh and decide. Here you fit the facts together. You are looking for gaps and contradictions. Consider the facts bearing on each other. Then think about what possible actions you could take. Check them against practices and policies. Critically, you must check each possible action against the objectives while weighing the effects on the individual, the team, and the business. Then you select the best actions, but make sure you don't jump to conclusions. Step three is take action. Ask yourself if you should handle um, the problem yourself. Do you need help? Should you refer to your supervisor? 
consider the proper time and place to act and communicate well. Take ownership of the situation and don't pass the buck. This takes us to the last step. Step four is to check results. How soon and how often will you follow up? Do you notice changes in output, attitude, and relationships? Did your action help the business? And that's the four-step method to handle problems. You will need to practice it. When you practice the method, you will discover a few interesting facts. The method helps you reduce emotions when dealing with people's problems. It is a life skill that you can apply to your personal life. Another useful fact is because the method is built on the scientific method of plan, do, check and adjust, you can use it not only to handle people problems, but also other types of operational problems. It can be a foundation for other problem solving techniques. Another observation. If you and your team are both trained, the practice becomes part of the culture. We focus more on the what than the who, and this is conducive to a less political environment. Okay, let's wrap up. The four-step method is effective to handle people's problem. You first define the problem and the objectives you want to achieve. On step one, you get the facts. Be sure you have the whole story. On step two, weigh and decide, but don't jump to conclusions. On step three, take action and don't pass the back. Lastly, on step four, check the results. Ask yourself, did my action help the business? Remember, problems don't go away on their own. Left unattended, they grow and spread. The best time to deal with them is to practice the method as early as possible and you'll become a better leader. And this is the good quote for this episode. Israel Moore, A.E. Vore, wrote, Leadership is self-made. People who have deliberately decided to become problem solver lead better. Isn't this beautiful? If you are one of the first three people able to identify the location of this view, you can meet with me for a free hour of leadership coaching. Just write the location in the comment section and send me an email at wwd at impi.solutions. Here is a clue. This is a remote beach not far from Cape Town. Also, you may have a need to improve on your leadership skills, turn them into good habits, or need support to transform your organization. I can help you. Feel free to connect. I'll be posting the next episode in two weeks. In the meantime, lead well.